<laughs> All right, welcome back to Coles Farm, North Carolina, everybody. It's uh, September 30th. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and it is beautiful out. It's 68 degrees and feels like 68 degrees, and the humidity is at 81%. The weather bug app has the pollen at a 5.6 out of 10, and the primary sources of pollen are ragweed and grasses. Let's see, so today we're going to be inspecting hives 2 and 3. It's been uh, 13 days since their last inspection, and I moved them over here two weeks ago. Uh, both hives in the last two weeks have been fed 22 pounds of 2 to 1 syrup. Uh, they were extremely light when I moved them over here, as mentioned in, in the previous video. Uh, they did a great job of storing uh, a lot of that uh, syrup in the outer frames. So today we're going to see how things are looking. I anticipate the two half gallon mason jars uh, to be empty at this point. And I have not prepared any new syrup because I'm going to give them a break just so they don't become honey bound. It is uh, the verge of October. It starts cooling off here in the next month. Um, I would say definitely by November, but we've had some weird winters over the last two years. Some days where it should be cold, it's warm, you know, uh, possibly global warming, but who knows, right? So I haven't prepared anything. I'm going to give them a break and uh, probably prepare some in the next week just so the queen has uh, plenty of space to lay. They don't become honey bound, like I said. And uh, if they are on the verge of being honeybound, maybe just giving them a break will give the colony a chance to consume some of that stored nectar or the sugar water and uh, free up some space for her. So I already removed the straps. Let's pop the tops and uh, see how things are looking. Alright, kind of to my surprise, there's about, well, almost a third left in each jar, and each jar holds five and a half pounds, so you figure that's, you know, easily over a pound in each jar left. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing, so if they stop consuming the uh, supplemented syrup, that means there's enough around here for them to gather, you know, nectar and pollen from. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that the jars still have syrup in there, considering the bolt, um, goldenrod and aster, I believe, are uh, you know in bloom. Definitely the goldenrod for sure, and I've seen bees all over it. So maybe that's uh, one of the leading causes why they haven't consumed all the syrup. Or maybe one of the reasons why they've slowed down on consuming the syrup is because they've propolized the majority of the holes I created. So I just uh, got done scraping those, so maybe uh, maybe they'll actually be able to get more of the syrup. There's a bee feeding right now, so I'm going to take a picture of that.
Sorry about the short delay. I like using the uh, micro lens to get up close and possibly get some good pictures of the bees. Yeah, there's uh, absolutely nothing going on in the top box. I just have frames in there just so they have the chance to build on them. Uh, primarily just using the deep because it gives you enough space for the half gallon mason jars. All right, hive number two, the outside frame, very light. Uh, frame frame one, I, I think that's what I said. Frame two, good stored nectar, so they're storing it away. It would just be nice to see the uh, stored nectar, same thing on this one, frame three. It would just be nice to see the stored nectar become capped. Uh, some capped brood? I, believe, I don't know, that's weird. Maybe it's capped honey. Because there's no real brood on this frame, so maybe they are starting to cap it. I'll tell you one thing though, these bees are extremely calm, which is uh, rather pleasant. So this is a, uh, yeah, this is a lot of nectar, probably the stuff I've been supplementing them, and maybe they are just capping it, maybe the capping is dark, well that doesn't make sense because that looks like brood, 
the small brew patterns, yeah. Small brew patterns on the outside frames. I mean, this is frame four, but a whole bunch of stored nectar. So I'll put the jars back in there just because there is some nectar left, but uh, I'm definitely not going to feed them for the next two weeks just so they don't become honey bound because there's a lot of stored nectar around this frame. And then you got brood in the inside, but then you have uh, nectar stored amongst the brood. So, having not experienced a honey bound hive before, I'm just going to hold off as a precaution and not cause any problems myself. might be a good picture. Yeah, they are, uh, they've definitely stored this nectar away, this syrup away, so yeah, I'm definitely not going to feed them for a while, just so they can use some of this up. This is a heavy frame. And the queen is trying to lie. She's trying to lay some eggs. got this frame in the center, which is extremely light, but does have some nice brood, some stored nectar of course. The queen was extremely easy to spot on the two new hives uh, two weeks ago. They are very calm, which is quite pleasant. You got a queen cup on the left, about uh, four inches to the right and on the lower half.
is frame 8. I believe I found the queen on one of the last few frames last time. Not that that really means much, each inspection of course. But uh, this frame has pretty solid brood, kind of spotty. But the spots may have just been these that had hatched. And now they're filled with pollen, or I'm sorry, nectar. So again, I'm definitely going to hold off on feeding them anymore. I'm going to let them finish out what they have, but then give them a break and uh, just kind of assess it as, as need be, each inspection. There she is, in the very top on the right side, moving across the foundation and frame. Very easy to spot this queen, unlike uh, my original hive, where the queen was marked. I don't know if I've just become accustomed to try to look for the yellow dot, but she is easy to see. Right there, moving her way down, just plowing through. See, maybe we can get her to drop an egg in a cell. There you go. Right there. There you go. Frame number nine, inside of frame nine, spotted the queen. And this is a pretty heavy, heavy frame as well. So this queen, for some reason, is sticking to the outside frame, or frames. And some nice pollen and nectar stored away. All right, overall, things are looking good. One questionable queen cup, but uh, that's about it. Very calm, very calm bees.
Well, that went pretty well, even to include the few minutes of uh, photography. The timer on the GoPro is only at 23 minutes, so uh, we can move on over to the the next hive. Alright, well, as you can see, unlike the other hive, uh, this one's definitely hungry. So, I'm going to look at the hive first, of course, just to see how they're storing this. And I may open this one back up later on and just swap, uh, swap the jars out of this one and into this one since hive number two here uh, potentially becoming honey bound. Just like hive number two, uh, I left a few frames in the top box just to give them space for the, uh, the mason jars. They're not doing any work on the frames, which kind of means come springtime, I'm going to be feeding these two pretty heavy with, uh, well, one to two for the queen, start triggering her to produce more eggs, and then definitely one to one so they can start building some comb. Frame number one, pretty light. It might be drawing out some comb slowly.
this frame is heavy. This frame has to be 10 pounds, and it is all stored nectar and also falling apart. I've noticed that with the, uh, oh look, they're actually starting to cap. They're starting to cap some of the nectar, turn it into capped honey, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. So this hive might be doing quite well for uh, winter preparation, which kind of makes sense why the uh, jars were completely empty. This, hive, uh, this frame's also falling apart. I've noticed with the nails, the frames that are nailed in the, uh, the top bar into the side bars, aren't really holding up that well compared to the uh, stapled frames. Another, this is another heavy frame full of nectar and they're starting to cap it so they're doing what they need to do for winter which is fantastic so now my concern kind of shifts to back to hive number two yeah, yeah this is looking good This is a heavy frame too, a lot of stored nectar, some capped, uh, capped brood, so the queen is definitely lying on frame one, two, three, this is frame four. I have a good feeling I'll be able to spot the queen on this one too. For whatever reason, she's just, well. Hive 2 is easy to spot, and this one, the first inspection spotted her quite easy as well. Yeah, a lot of stored nectar, I imagine that's going to turn into uh, capped honey surrounding the brood, so, so far so good. frame five, capping some of the nectar, turning it into honey, some capped brood in the center. I believe I found the queen on one of the last few frames, frame nine, nine or ten last time. Oh look, they're actually capping some of the honey, or turning it into capped honey. It's excellent. As long as the rest of it looks like this. I would say they're doing pretty good for uh, winter preparation. This frame's pretty light. 
good brood pattern, a lot of spun larva. I imagine that'll be capped in the next few days. Uh, clearly see eggs. There's a nice assortment of eggs right here. Nice cap brood, spun larva, eggs, nectar, capped honey. So all really good signs that this hive is uh, it's looking good. So maybe it's a combination of feeding them, treating for varroa, and just giving them some TLC. Brood pattern's looking better and better. So I'm not really questioning the queen's health at this point. I think they just needed some love. Check out frame seven. Look how beautiful that is. I imagine that has something to do with the goldenrod in bloom. That's nice, clean looking capped brood. A whole bunch of nice spun larvae towards the bottom. Eggs, more eggs, so yeah. And look at that. That's a nice brood pattern as well. So they're storing the nectar that I'm supplementing them, plus I'm I imagine they're bringing more in from, you know, whatever's blooming around here. Capping the honey. Or creating capped honey, capped brood, eggs. So we're seeing all good signs. Now if I could spot the queen, that would definitely top off this inspection. Looks good so far. This is frame 7. Frame number nine. It's got some weight to it. It's got some cat brood. It's hard to see underneath all the bees. Stored pollen, stored nectar. No capped honey, but you know, it's kind of early. Good looking brood pattern.
Hopefully the camera can get this. Look at the look at the stored pollen on this frame. That's pretty. A lot of different shades of yellow and orange. Let's see if we can find the queen. I haven't seen her since or yet. Look at the pollen right in the middle that bee's bringing in. Let's see, any queen, any queen? I don't see her.
All right, well, I'm gonna wrap things up. Uh, as you can see, I need to repair this frame. The top bar is old and, you know, the nails are really not as long as they should be to really hold the, or be able to support the weight of the frame. So, uh, you know, just to wrap things up, uh, everything looked great. Spotted the queen in hive number two, did not in hive number three. However, hive number three has done an excellent job of capping a lot of the, uh, most likely the syrup that I've provided them over the last two weeks. Um, off camera, I'm going to transfer the remaining two to one syrup from hive number two to hive number three. Since number two looks like it may be becoming honey bound. And, uh, you know, overall, like I said, things look good. A lot of uh, stored nectar. Hive number three did a good job of capping some of the honey. Um, spotted eggs in both. Good spun larva. So it looks like the queen's still doing a good job. Uh, overall, very happy with this inspection. They've only been here on the property for uh, two weeks now, but things are looking great. So thanks for watching Cole's Farm. Uh, next week, we will be back in hive number one, just to kind of document and record the progress of that. Don't anticipate any problems. Everything's being treated for row right now and being supplemented two to one in preparation for winter. So thanks for watching and uh, hive number one's video will be recorded next week. See you all then. Bye.